Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to study about differentiation. This is a new topic that has been added to the syllabus. Let's start. Wait, before we start, if you have not subscribed as yet, do subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when I add any new videos. Differentiation is an important topic as you will learn to solve many questions whose base is differentiation. When we are said, find the derivative or dy over dx or f dash x or y dash, find the gradient, we need to differentiate. So this is very important. All these words are different things just to differentiate. When we are differentiating, we need to remember we cannot differentiate unless we simplify. So what simplification are we talking about? If you have square root x, you know that square root x is x to the power of half. So we have to write it in a fraction form, the power. You cannot write it as a radical. The next one is square root x to the power of a. If you have x in the radical, and there is a power there, that power will be written as the numerator. And this here, when there is no number, we write down as 2. So a over 2. For the next one, you have a power with, a, with x and the power inside that crook. What is the power of x? We already know it will be written as a numerator. And the power in the crook will be written in the denominator. And this is how you are going to simplify. 1 over x, you bring the x up. So if you have x and you don't have any power written, there is 1. When you write it in the numerator, the power will turn into negative. So x to the power of negative 1. 2 over x, the 2 shall remain the way it is. And x will be written as x to the power of negative 1. For the next one, we have 3 over 4 x square. Whatever numbers you have in whichever position, the numbers do not change. So 3 over 4 will be 3 over 4. x, when you bring up, you will minus the power, which is 2. So you are going to write it as negative 2. What about the next one? We have x multiplied by square root x. This means this is x to the power of 1 and square root x is x to the power of half. We use the indices or exponent rules when we multiply. So if you have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, if the base is same, we add the powers. So this can be written as x to the power of 3 over 2 because 1 plus half is 3 over 2. The division rule for exponents is if we are dividing, we subtract the powers. So m minus n. Here we have x to the power of 5 over x to the power of 3. This can be written as 5 minus 3, 2. And square root x will be written as x to the power of half. And in the denominator, we have x to the power of 3. When you subtract the powers half minus 3, you are going to get negative 5 over 2. So this is how you have to sim uh, simplify the radicals, the indices, rules you have to use for addition and subtraction, multiplication and uh, division by adding the powers or subtracting the powers. And another thing, you cannot leave your x in the denominator. You have to write it in the numerator before you differentiate. Then these two identities are important because you also have to expand the bracket before you differentiate. So a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. a minus b square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. The terms are the same, only here you have a minus. Let's identify what is your a and b in this example a is 2x and b is 
three. We don't write the negative because you are going to use the identity. This is the identity we are going to use a square minus 2ab plus b square. So 2x square minus 2 bracket 2x bracket 3 plus 3 square. The 2, the power of 2 is for the 2 which is inside and for x. So we'll get 4x square. Multiply the numbers 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 negative 12x plus 9. So this is your simplification. So how do we differentiate? If you have y is equal to x to the power of n, the power we bring in front of x, and then we subtract 1 from the power. It's very easy. y is equal to 2x to the power of 4. So when we are differentiating this, we write dy over dx. We write the power in the front, so 2 multiplied by 4 and we subtract 1 from the power 4 minus 1 3 2 multiply by 4 is 8 x to the power of 3 if you have y is equal to x we when we differentiate it what is the power i'm going to write y dash instead of dy over dx we'll try writing different things the power is 1 we bring the power in the front and we subtract 1 from the power, 1 minus 1, 0. You know that anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, our answer is 1. We don't need to do all this. You need to remember whenever you are differentiating x, no matter what it is. Let's say you have y is equal to half x. When you differentiate it, the answer is going to be the number before x. Let's look then at the next question. We have y is equal to 3x. So when we differentiate, what will it be? Yes, it's going to be 3 because that's our rule. When we differentiate a number with x, only the number is your answer. Let's try another one. y is equal to negative 7 over 2x. So what is your dy over dx is equal to? Negative 7 over 2. Try this one. If y is equal to negative x, What's the answer? Negative 1. And y is equal to 1 over 7. When you differentiate, 1 over 7. I hope that this has been very well understood. Now let's look at a little bit complicated question. We have 1 over 4 square root x. Remember we said we cannot differentiate unless you simplify so what is the simplification of this? Square root x is x to the power of half. We cannot have a term in the denominator. So we bring the term in the numerator and the power will become negative. And then we differentiate. We bring the power in the front. Basically, we multiply with the number which you already have. You don't need to show this. You can do it in the calculator directly. And then you subtract 1 from negative half. So negative half minus 1 is going to be negative 3 over 2. Simplify the coefficient in the front. So you'll get negative 1 over 8 x to the power of negative 3 over 2. When you're differentiating a number, it has no x with it. So y is equal to 7. The differentiation of this is going to be 0. As there is no x, the answer is going to be 0. Let's solve a little bit more complicated questions. y is equal to, we have 4 inside. And what is the power of x? It's 1. From the rules that you have learned, this can be written as y is equal to 3 x to the power of 1 over 4 which we will bring up in the numerator is going to be negative 1 over 4. Now that we have simplified it we are ready to differentiate it. We multiply 3 multiply by negative 1 over 4. You can write it or you can do it in the calculator directly. You need to be very good at solving questions like this. 3 multiplied by negative 1 over 4 will give us negative 3 over 4. 
and negative 1 over 4 minus 1 negative 5 over 4 so that's our answer now for this question again there is a bracket here we have to expand the bracket and simplify 2x multiplied by x cube the power of x is 1 here so using the indices rule we'll have 1 plus 3 4 when we multiply we add the powers and 2x minus 4 will give us negative 8x ready to differentiate multiply 2 by 4 which will be 8x and 4 minus 1 3 negative 8x will give us negative 8 the next question if you have a term in the denominator only one term then that term is for each term in the numerator so separate it out that's the first thing you will do square root x you know you have to write it as x to the power of half so this is the division so we are going to use the exponent rules for division the power of x here is 1 and we will minus will get 6 x 1 minus 2 is negative 1 the x square in the denominator we write in the numerator the sign will change and half minus 2 will give us negative 3 over 2. Now when we differentiate, we are going to multiply 6 by negative 1, which is negative 6. And negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. 3 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6x. Negative 1 and negative 2 will give us negative 3. And there's no number here. It means there's a 1. 1 multiplied by negative 3 over 2 is negative 3 over 2. And negative 3 over 2 minus 1 will give us negative 5 over 2. Now this we can simplify it a little bit further. We write all the negative powers in the denominator to make them positive. This you can leave it as 5 over 2. But how can you write 5 over 2 in radical form? There's a 2 in the denominator, so it can be written as like this, x to the power of 5, okay? Let's solve two more questions. If you want, you can pause the video and try, and then check your answer. So this is a bracket, you have to expand it. x times x, x square, and then x times 2 is 2x, and 1 multiplied by x, x, 1 multiplied by 2, 2. We can add the like terms together. This will give us x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now, this is the simplified version. Now, we can differentiate. When we differentiate, the 2 will come in the front. So, 2x and 2 minus 1 is 1. So, we leave it as 2x. 3x will give us plus 3. Plus 2 is a number. When you differentiate that, that's a 0. So, your answer is 2x plus 3. Now for the next question, you have square root x times 3 and square root x times x squared. That's how you're going to expand the bracket. Before that, we will write it as x to the power of half. This will give us 3x to the power of half and x to the power of half multiplied by x squared. We add the powers. Half plus 2 will give us x to the power of 5 over 2. Now this is the simplified version we can differentiate. When we differentiate we are going to multiply 3 by half which is 3 over 2 and subtract 1 from x that will give us negative half. And then we write the 5 over 2 in the front. x 5 over 2 minus 1 will give us 3 over 2. We have to simplify and write this answer. This square root negative square root when we write in the denominator it will give us positive this when we want to write it in a radical form we we'll write it as 3 over 2 square root x what about this term here how can you simplify you have x to the power of 3 over 2 which can be written as x multiply by x to the power of half 
as we can add the numbers. 1 plus half is going to give us 3 over 2. So this can be written as x square root x. This is important. Understand it, please. And here we will write 5 over 2 x square root x. That's our answer. We have done the explanation of this. We have done a few questions. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope I have been able to help you. And if yes, please like the video and leave a comment. I will be making more videos on differentiation on the tangent, normal, maximum, and minimum, inshallah, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.